Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up 2FA, which is two-factor authentication for the Bybit platform. I made a video talking about how to do the same for Binance and people have requested that I make a video for Bybit. So yeah, here it is. All right, so first of all, you need to open the Bybit app and make sure you're logged in. I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to tap it to access it. All right, so what you want to do is tap your profile icon up here. And uh, you may see this security option up here, but if you don't see it, you tap this settings icon up here. After that, you need to tap security. And you can see over here where it says Google 2F, 2FA authentication. Just tap this button to enable it. So they're going to send you a code to your email address. So access your email address. You should be able to tell what the email address is from this somewhat hidden email address they have displayed. So I'm going to access my email address now. Okay, so this is the code and the code will only be valid for five minutes. So I'm going to long press this to copy it. I'll close this and yeah, it has, it has been entered. So now I'm going to start the setup process. All right, so for this to work, you need an authenticator app and the most popular one is Google Authenticator. So I'm going to work with that in this video. If you don't have it, I'll link to it in the description. You can see over here, it says, please install the Google Authenticator app on your phone. I already have it, so I'm just going to tap continue. All right, so it's going to create a setup key for you. This key should be private. I've said that in all the videos that I've made about um, two-factor authentication. The reason why it is visible to you right now is because I'll be creating a new one. After making this video, I'll delete this one and do the whole setup process again, because whenever you do a new setup process, a new key will be created for you. So what you want to do now is copy this key by tapping copy key. See, it says copy or copied successfully. So after you have installed Google Authenticator, this is what the app looks like. So you open it and uh, make sure you tap here to choose the email address you want to work with. You can work with any email address you want as long as you can remember it. So maybe you can have one where you keep all your two-factor authentication codes. Anyways, so you tap this plus button down here or you tap add a code. I'm going to tap this plus button because it's always going to be visible even if you have codes already here. So I'll tap this, and then I'll tap enter a setup key. So for the code name, I'll call this Bybit so that I'll know that it is for Bybit anytime I want to copy the code. So it says your key. So you just long press this and then you tap paste. You can leave this one the way it is and then tap add. All right, so you can see over here, there's a code. This code will keep regenerating every 30 seconds. I'm going to wait for this countdown to happen so that you can see that a new code will, will be created. Okay, so what you want to do is you long press the number and you can see it says copy to clipboard. So I'm going to switch back to Bybit and then I'll tap next. So I'm going to quickly paste the number because after 30 seconds, the number will be regenerated. So now that it has been applied, you can see now that Google Authentication, two-factor authentication has been enabled on Bybit. So whenever you want to log in on a new device or maybe sometimes you want to maybe transfer funds via um, Bybit, it's going to ask you for the code. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to use my other device and try to log in to Bybit. All right, so this is the Bybit app and now I'm going to try to log in. This is my other device. You can see the two FA codes are being generated from here, so I'll tap login, and then I'll enter my username or email and password. All right, so after entering the username and password, I'll tap login now. You can see that it is asking me for the code, and all I have to do now is just get the code from this other device. So after entering the code, now I have access to Bybit. So from time to time, they're going to ask you for the 2FA code. You're just going to have to enter it. And yeah, that's basically all. Hopefully you found the video helpful. Please give it a like if you did and ask me questions you may have. And if I can, I'll make videos answering your questions. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.